Hey, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. We're going to do a quick read for you. We're going to go over your uh, money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, etc. Um, if any card repeats, I'll point that out in case that's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case that's confirmation with somebody you came here to hear about. If it resonates, if you like it, feel free to hit like, comment, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so I did a pre shuffle with the uh, the Light Seers deck, this one, and um, my secret tarot deck, which I can't show. And from what I'm seeing, a lot of you all are going through, uh, you're going through a lot, you got a lot of balls in the air, um, and you're trying to maintain control over things. There's been um, a lot of big shakeups and some type of ending, and it's got, you're going through a lot of stress. You're, you've been stressed out, and you're trying to maintain control of your emotions and not get triggered. So when I look at the secret tarot deck, I see um, some type of unhealthy habit. I clarified it with um, the high priestess and the two of swords. So it's like being quiet and indecisive. Um, and that's an issue. Um, it's telling you not to stress out over money. Um, and then there's a tradition of somebody coming, rushing in with communication. And I have the word rebirth here and I have it there. And underneath of it is the Ace of Swords. So if you're waiting on communication from somebody or if things have been quiet <laughs> um, because someone's been indecisive, that's snowy. <laughs> Who wants attention? Um, there's going to be communication. There's going to be a rebirth. Um, and the tradition has been for somebody to come rushing in. So I are you dealing with somebody who's like, a, like an in and out kind of energy because it would suggest that when I clarified with the two of swords I have the two of swords two of pentacles if you look at these two cards next to each other notice how it's that's why I said you got a lot of balls in here you got a lot of things that you're trying to um you know from dust to dawn you've got a lot you're trying to handle um so you know look at this like you have it's the two two you know like and I said from um dusk to dawn here you are juggling you know you're, you're trying to maintain control over things you're trying to keep everything together um and you're just, you're just there's a lot of stressing out you know losing sleep over something um so if there's been some kind of ending because th but then again it's an ending but there's going to be a rebirth so it's not going to be a total ending but look at like this here's you regardless of gender um and being kind of lost in emotion and trying not to get triggered when i see this I see like in this in this situation like following the death card that's you trying not to get triggered emotionally um by whatever this ending is because there's been some kind of big shakeup, and i don't know what like you'll know obviously everybody's situation is a little different but some type of shake up so let's go ahead and let's get rolling and see what's going on um so we'll choose a deck for the money portion um I mean, it could be, it, it's probably a love thing, but maybe it's a money thing because in my secret tarot deck, it said, um, you know, no stressing over money. Don't stress out over money. Don't be a prisoner of your own thoughts over money. So, um, what the hell is that one? Oh, the good tarot. Oh, I should have used this one for the other one. And I, I did, that's okay. Um, I did the tattoo tarot for Aquarius when it should have been this one, but that's okay. So. Let's see for your money portion. What is going on? Look at this. This might be what's going on. Because on the bottom, I can't get this together. On the okay, the dryer is almost done. I can't <laughs> get that together. But look at this. Seven of air is like seven of swords. Um, so and this one she's wearing a mask, so people don't see who she is. But for your money portion, so no, if is there a situation, Pisces, in which somebody is like when it comes to money and how you, like you're dealing with somebody when it, any kind of financial situation, are you dealing with people who are not showing you who they are? Is somebody I don't know. Is somebody trying to say? That they need money when actually they don't or 
or they're poor or they're broke when they're not or they're or you can trust them um something there's some uh, you're not seeing someone's not presenting themselves um as they really are so there's that all right so let's see i don't want to spend all day um okay so from the pet look at these beautiful cards oh my god i love these cards um Okay, there's the two of pentacles again. These, by the way, these two um, together are both Virgo cards. I think this is interesting. Look at all the, the earth here. Well, hermits and earth. Um, it's The hermit card is a Virgo card and Virgo is an earth sign. So I see lots of earth here. Um, so lots of emotions, emotion and earth. Cups, emotions and um, stability, like water and earth. But something okay so let me see before i all right let me clarify that okay how's that fast quickly find yourself at a crossroads um so something from the past is it are you getting money from the past because your communication is, is good you're going to get communication that's going to make you feel good and you can trust it. Um, and it has something to do with the past. But it's going to have you weighing your options. You know, Two of Pentacles. Um, that is a Capricorn card, by the way. Um, so you, twice you've gotten the Two of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle and now in this one. And that's all about weighing options. Um, can be juggling. But I like this in your money spread. You may be spending a lot of time alone um, making money, but look at this. Um, the Nine of Earth is like Nine of Pentacles. That's a card of being good all on your own. So are you weighing your options and trying to decide whether or not maybe you should do something solo to make money? All right, well, let's go to the, the career spread. So and if I have to, I'll come back to that because that's just not making sense to me. I don't know why it is not making sense to me. I don't know. That just, it is, I'm not, if it resonates, let me know. But somehow something from the past, you're going to get communication. You're going to be weighing your options. Um, I think on whether or not to do something on your own or alone. Oh, eight of fires, eight of wands, that it can also have to do with the internet. Okay, all right, so, no, thank God I gave it a second chance. Um, So yeah, a lot of Pisces folks are, when it comes to making money, a lot of you are gonna be, you're gonna get some kind of communication, some kind of message about something from the past. I don't know if you applied for some kind of job or something in which you're going to be doing something over the internet, or you've put time into something that you like you started a long time ago. Um, I don't know if it could be it could be anything. It could be like a social media thing, um, or just a job where you're working remote from home, and that's how you're making money. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's do your career. Maybe it'll make more sense if I do that. Rating wise, Spirit Tarot deck is this one. So for your career, we're going to use this one. If you do not have a job or career, then this is your um, your uh, reputation, right? So why, why, why is the Two of Cups always in everybody's career spread? You know why? Because that's where everybody spends all their time. They're either, like nobody goes out anymore. Everybody is either, you know, you, you get everything brought to you. Like you can get food delivered, you can get groceries delivered, you can get anything you want delivered to your home. There's literally no incentive for people to leave their home. So how are you going to meet anybody at your job? And then if you work from home or work a remote home, then you work a remote job. You don't even get a chance to see anybody. No wonder so many people are single. Jesus. Anyway, two of cups on the bottom for your career. So some of you all might be dealing with somebody or going to be dealing with somebody uh, on the job. And I guess I don't know what um, you're going to do what you're going to do. I would say don't mix business with pleasure, but hey, there's a eight of wands again. 
Eight of Fire, Eight of Wands. That's Sagittarius energy. That's quick movement. So weighing options and quick movement. There's that Two of Swords again. I used it clarified for me. And there is the Tower again. Big changes. Big changes. So it could be, in this case, um, you might actually be indecisive about whether or not to make a big change to working from home. Fighting off the competition, taking a break, forward movement, travel. I don't know if you're going to travel for your job. <laughs> There's a Pisces person out there that, um, that is either a currently a truck driver or some type of delivery, like your job is, you know, either a truck driver or a delivery driver, like, I don't know, Uber or whatever, Uber Eats, um, or is going to be. Because that would be you doing things solo. There's the hermit making your money solo, and then here's you, like, it's almost like you're taking a break from whatever you have been doing in fast movement, also the internet. Yeah, that's, I think a lot of you all are going to be doing some, if you're not already doing something from home or work or working alone solo, it could be driving in some way, doing something in which you're driving, but there's big changes. So I don't know if it's that you're the making the big change to doing that or from doing that, but it looks like it might be to doing that. So some of you all might be changing jobs and doing a delivery type job. And here you'd be fighting off competition. And you could be, you know, if, it could also be you having to, like this could um, represent you having to jockey for position in traffic. Like you're fighting off the, you know, not literally fighting the cars, but you know, you're fighting traffic. And you're just feeling like you need a, a break. You need a rest. Others, this might be, I hate to think that people getting laid off or fired, but that would give you the rest you need. Um, some of you all need rest. Then if you get fired or laid off, you will finally get the rest you need. But then that would be where you would end up then doing the job when you're, you know, your delivery driver or whatever. I don't know. All right, so let's just leave that alone. I don't even feel like I'm not even really connecting right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, for, we are going to use the Modern Witch Tarot to do your love reading. So let's do that. Pisces. What in the heck? Maybe this will make sense in a minute. I don't know. Maybe it's, a lot of my readings, you know, will, that's how it goes, you know? Oh my God. And here it is again on the bottom of this deck. On the bottom of this deck, and I gotta get my laundry. Um, look at this. It was on the bottom of the good tarot for your money read, and now here it is in your love read. So, it could be a lover. It could be a lover or potential lover pretending that uh, they're not, you're not, they're being sneaky. They're not, you're not seeing them for who they are. You're not seeing them for who they are. Wow, sneaky, shady. I don't or and it could be a potential it could be a situation in which somebody reaches out to you through the internet and saying that they need money when and that they're broke and they you know when in reality they're fine, they don't need you. <laughs> they they do that to everyone. Alright, so King of Swords, cold communication, <laughs> two of wands, being at a crossroads, seven of pentacles. Try to decide whether or not something's worth it. Four of swords, taking a break. Five of swords, arguing. Are you taking a break from arguing and fighting? Look at that. Jesus. Okay, so when it comes to the love department, it's either fighting or competition. Which one is it? So, not a lot of emotion. Um, I don't know if this, does this represent the, person that you're being or they're being with you or you're both being with each other kind of cold chilly both of you at a crossroads trying to decide which way to go trying to decide whether or not it's worth it you know what have I, what have I gotten out of this right and then I'm taking a break from all the fighting Pisces what the f 
fuck is going on? So the Four of Swords, you've gotten that twice now too. Uh, Four of Swords is Libra energy. And a big shakeup in which, you know, you there's going to be a big shakeup if it hasn't already happened. You're going to be on a break or get the rest you need. You're going to be, you know, things are going to be kind of quiet and you're going to be weighing your options. And it could be whether or not to do something on the internet because you've gotten that twice too. All right, so general spread, we'll do that real quick. Okay, five is Wandering Star. I'm trying to run through this so I don't spend all night because... I forget whose reading it was. I did. It was a 30 minute long reading. All right. So this one for the general. This one has weird. Oh, I like this though. Oof. Okay. So there is a reason for you to be optimistic because things are going to work out. Things are going to be brighter and they're going to grow. So if it's a case in which, if it's a case in which you lose your job, let's say that you get laid off or fired, for example. I'm not wishing anything bad on anybody, but let's just say that something like that happens. It's a stroke of luck. It's going to be actually a good thing. It'll actually turn out good. Um, all right. I like that. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Look at all the pentacles energy. Pentacles is money. So there's this focus on money. New money. So yeah, a lot of you all are going to be starting a new job. Look at this. Ace of pentacles is new money. Or, you know, starting money. So the only way that would make sense is if you had a new way of making money. And it could come from being laid off. I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody. but So, so, so prepare, just in case. Um, so you're trying to, to make sure things are equal and evened out. And some of you all are, um, LGBTQ because I see my rainbow here. There's my rainbow. Um, but you know, a lot of you are trying to make sure things are just fair and balanced. Um, and you're getting what you give. Um, I think you're trying to trust, uh, trying to trust, <laughs> that's easy for me to say, right? Trying to trust your intuition, and that's good. Lean on your intuition. Um, someone might have an apology for you too. There may be someone may feel the need to apologize. Um, this is the the page of Pentacles in the uh, Wandering Star Tarot. But look at this. Here's Queen of Pentacles. So you're focusing on your stability, and you're having to walk away from something. So either you quit a job or relationship, or it, it it goes away without your, you know what, here, is it your, is it your choice, or, okay, is it your choice? Yeah, I think you actually choose to walk away from it, so actually, that's good, and the sun card being on the bottom, it's actually a great move, so that's, that's good, if you've been, and then maybe that's what you've been stressed out over, is like, whether or not you should do it, whether, what, can I do it, should I do it, the two of swords, indecision, um, big changes. I feel like, yeah, it's like with the sun on the bottom, it was, that's the sign that like, yes, everything is going to turn out for the best. So yeah. Um, all right. Oh my God. Oh, I don't want it to be at 20 minutes. All right. So we are going to do, well, it's going to be 20 minutes. That's fine. All right. So watch your diets in reverse. Time for a new start is sideways. Make the calls in reverse. Okay, so if you thought somebody was gender fluid, they're not. Um, what you what they what you see is what you get. Um, have faith is sideways, so it's still telling you to be careful though. So somebody, look, somebody needs to be told off. It says tell them off, and then at the same time, this person is still heartbroken. So if somebody has been treating you like shit, it's because they themselves are heartbroken. So it's not anything that you've done to deserve whatever they've done, whatever however they treated you. All right, so what the fuck? Okay, so here it is again. Seven of Swords, sneaky, shady. So be uh, you need to be on guard for sneakiness and shadiness. And you know what? For those of you who are um, 
religious or spiritual, I'm going to say this. If you are religious or spiritual, make sure that you say a prayer for protection. Do what you can for protection because I have a feeling people are being sneaky and shady and doing stuff that they're not showing you who they are. So, yeah, do some prayers for protection. Thank you, God, for protecting me from blah, blah, blah. All right. Keeping me safe and protected, yada, yada. All right, so Aries is a player and a soulmate. Taurus is, um, they want to apologize and get back together if, if you're dealing with the Taurus. Um, Gemini, eh. Okay, I, I think you might be on a break from a Gemini, but um, they want to win in this. And at the same time, they're focused on healing. Cancer wants to move forward. Um, they want to commit to you. They might drive to you. Um, they might come to you. The Leo is going to reach out. They want to tell you. They want to share love. Um, or, you know, that they feel like you're their other half. Um, Virgo is at a crossroads and they're spying. <laughs> um, the Libra, um, I think they're, they're maybe acting distant. Libra's probably acting distant and kind of chilly too. Scorpio, um, they are not, oh shit. Okay, for some of you, the Scorpio is, they're keeping it a secret that they're actually in a committed relationship. Um, for the others, they're keeping it a secret that they want to be committed to you, but they're keeping that to themselves. I don't, you know what, whatever. Scorpios and secrets, it is what it is. Sagittarius, um, that is so funny, man. oh my God. So for the Libra, I got the Queen of Swords, which is a Libra card. For the Scorpio, I got, you know, the High Priestess, which is has to do with secrets, and that's a Scorpio thing. For the Sagittarius, I got the Wheel of Fortune. That's such a Sagittarius card because they, they love to gamble. <laughs> um, the Sagittarius, they feel like, like you're karmic. Um, and at the same time, they like to have control. <laughs> I don't know if you realize it or not, but they like to be in control. All right, Capricorn, they're feeling optimistic. Um, they're a little immature, but they're they're optimistic. Um, they feel confident that they can get you to do what they want. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, so, well, not really. But uh, okay, so the Aquarius is feeling left out in the cold and they're focusing on what went wrong. And the Pisces, if you're dealing with a fellow Pisces, they have trust issues and they feel like it's just done. And whoever you're dealing with, um, they either take the, like they like to take their time to invest. Um, so it may seem like things move at a snail's pace with them. But they, they can be relied upon. It just takes forever if you're willing to wait forever. All right. Pisces, thank you. Love you. And I will see you in the next one.